guys. What are you doing? The paparazzi's here. Buddy there, Kevin. Trying to show my buddy Ryan how to tick and how to hold the torch and work the filler and the pedal and just trying to get him to understand you got to do all three things plus hold your tongue on the right side of your mouth while you're doing it. So, have a seat. Now let's try it again. Okay. <laughs> now you just got to remember the pedal is just like the gas pedal on the car. The more pedal you give it, the faster you go. Well, here, the more pedal you give it, the hotter it gets. Just check that knob. <laughs> this, see, this is the this is the adjustment knob for the amperage. Mm -hmm. When you're running the foot pedal, you bypass the machine and you control all your amperage out here. So we can turn that all the way up, all the way in, basically. So we've got max amperage from the pedal. So now it's just like in the car with with this all the way up. Now you got max amperage here. So pedal all the way down, throttles all the way open. You know, now you get the max heat out of it. Now you can sit there and control it just like the car. So it, is that only to what you have the machine set for, or does that bypass no, the No, that panel? totally bypasses the machine. Now all the control is out here. Okay. So you know, if, you, if you're going to work thicker metal, turn that puppy all the way up. Now you've got all your control. You're going to work some, like some 20 gauge. Well, we go ahead and turn them way, way down, almost to the very bottom. Now the pedal is set to, let's say, 20 amps. Mm -hmm. You know, if you turn them all the way up, yeah. yeah, now it's set to 250 amps. So, I mean, it's really controllable right here. And that way, when you're, you know, 20 feet away from the machine working somewhere, you don't have to go walk all the way back to the machine to make this tiny little adjustment. You can do it right out here on the pedal. It's a great little, you know, step saver. So, nice. so because we're working with some 3 a steel, you just want to floor it. Just go ahead and get it hot, get your puddle started, then you're going to back off a little bit, okay. and then just start feeding into your puddle. And when am I going to know how, bad, how much to back off or when? Well, as soon as you start to see that metal get molten, it'll, 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 be, it'll, be, it'll be dull, and then it'll get red, and then it'll get shiny. Okay. And when you see it start to get shiny, you look kind of liquid, now you're ready to start filling. Now you're ready to start adding a little fill. Okay. You know? Watch your gap in there, when you watch the joint, as you see the joints start to all of a sudden flow together, you're ready. Start filling, start working along. Got it? Okay, yeah. Cool. Helmet? So, just get your torch up there where you need it, where you're comfortable. Get your filler rod ready, and you're just going to floor it, you know, get your, get your pump started. Once you get the molten, it starts to flow together, and just start feeding. You start working along. As, as, it's, as you see the puddle start to grow, it starts getting too big, let up on the pedal. You know, take a little gas off of it, cool it down a little. That's how you can control it. You want that nice red hot puddle, you want that molten puddle, it starts going white, it's too hot. Okay. Back off. Is that getting ready to blow through if it turns white? Yeah, yeah, that, that's ready to drop. Okay. Yeah, it's ready to blow through. So, hit it. Torch up a little. There you go. Little faster forward motion. Back off your pedal a little. You get too hot. Left pedal. Left pedal. Get back on the pedal. <laughs> no giggling. Stop. I didn't stop with the pedal, though. No, you have to pedal down. <laughs> yeah, and then they pulled the electric. I pulled it, pulled it, pulled it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I realized that as I was you doing stop. it. Stop. You hold the torch. Take your foot off the pedal. Let the gas finish blowing over the over the weld to so cool cool the weld up. And move the torch. Okay. Let's flip them over. Steady height, you know, don't drop, don't yeah. come up, you know, steady, 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 beep, 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 doing good. Okay. Get 
little hotter. A little hotter. There you go. Very nice. Very nice. Very nice. So, this is Ryan's second weld on a piece of steel with, with TIG. His first weld was on the other side. Let's Not bad for a beginner. <laughs> this one. This is obviously Kevin. Oh! <laughs> Earlier, we were playing with some aluminum. Now, now what do you think of the aluminum compared to the steel? I thought the aluminum was easier, oddly really? enough. Really? Mm -hmm. But why? What, what was the difference that you saw? Uh, the Well, it was easier to control the puddle in the steel, but the aluminum seemed to melt the flow better. It flows better, yeah. Mm -hmm. Huh. Interesting. I Interesting. I had a harder time controlling that, and I was burning through it. Right, right. But, but then this is 3 8 <laughs> inch steel, versus the eighth inch aluminum. Yeah. You know, yeah. so there's a little a big difference in the amperage involved between one and the other. So, oh, huh, interesting. Well, so now you're gonna go buy one. Yeah. Uh, cool, <laughs> cool. <laughs> so, this is Ryan Barker. He's, uh, he's a CB, in a construction battalion in the Navy. Uh, he found me on YouTube, and we've been talking back and forth for, you know, past two, three months, I guess. He and his wife just rode over on their motorcycles all the way from the outside of Los Angeles, come spend the day, play, you know, learn how to TIG, play around with some of the machines. Tonight they're going to go camp and then they're going back home. So, Ryan, it's been a pleasure, sir, having you come by. Thanks for having me out. Uh, absolutely, man. Absolutely. We'll, we'll see you online. Yeah.